Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Code Veronica, where we last left off. Uh, we were, if I remember correctly, we needed that, and that's right, yep, we were just about to get the crane key. How could I ever forget? Uh, now, we've got the handgun. Do we need the handgun? We'll take the handgun. We'll keep that as well. Do we want the herbs on us? Sure. Yeah. Alright, why not? Um, right, let's just combine these two items like so. And let's get the frick out of here. Do we want a more powerful weapon? Nah, we'll be fine. Yeah, the handgun's pretty good. Uh, I will apologize about the audio in the last video. It had completely fucked itself, for lack of a better uh, turn of phrase. Now, that was because my partner actually had an interview for a job. And she had to use Microsoft Teams. Amazingly, that kind of actually worked, which I was quite impressed. Uh, even though it did kind of look like a, the dude was using a webcam from like 1999, which is probably why it worked. Oh uh, yeah, but that that like reset all of my audio stuff. So, ugh, I didn't even think to check to be honest. Kind of my fault for not checking. But there we go. Right, let's just. Oh, yeah, damn it. Well, fine. We'll take a hunter out. Where is he? Where are you? No, seriously. Oh, really? He's like stuck over there. He's not done yet. He's done now. Yeah, these hunters aren't really up to much, are they? Well, sadly, when we come back here, those uh, drone cams will be uh, back amongst the land of the living. Um, now, what are we going to... Ah, right, yeah, we need to get the crane key. Of course we do. I knew that. Stupid. Hopefully everything sounds better this time. Um, fingers crossed. Now... Let's stick this in here. Wasn't it awfully convenient that there was a attachment for this exact type of valve handle, which we had custom made on a machine tool? Very, very convenient. But then we're playing as Chris. Chris could have just, like, you know, bent the thing back into shape with his bare hands. Although I suppose he's not quite that buff yet. Anyway, there's a the Grangy. But wait. There is... Oh, we've got that equipped. There's a sweeper. Right, he's down. But is he out? No, because the music's still going. There we go. <laughs> yeah, this, this handgun is just OP. I mean, guys, seriously, it, it's just... It's silly. It really is. Absolutely freaking ridiculous. Uh, eh, I mean, I guess we're kind of out of ammo now. So, might be a good idea to go grab ourselves something out of our toolbox. Yeah, we've got the uh, these guys back. And all of the pictures that I, I've taken of this game are uploading. And because we have uh, ADSL internet, I can take a photo, uh, well, a screenshot, which, you know, God knows how, how big one of those are. And it takes so long to upload. It takes so long to upload. It's kind of silly, really. Uh, yeah. What should we take with us now? Should we take the shotgun? I think it's about time for the shotgun to get some action, don't you? Because... We are kind of at the end of the game now. And we've just used the handgun for most of it. But I just kind of wanted to demonstrate just how stupidly OP the handgun actually is. Oh my god, I mean, look. <sighs> look, we've got assault rifle. We have... We've got the submachine guns that we haven't even touched. What else do we have? We've got the magnum. Ah, the magnum will be used. 
Magnum's gonna get used in a minute, actually. Uh, I guess. We could take the shotgun, I suppose. The grenade launcher as well. I mean, we could. Let's actually take that with us. You know what? Barely used the shotgun. Which, uh, as my friend H said, is a f is a Italian weapon. And yes, yes, of course, he's absolutely right there. Don't know why I've got it in my head that it was a French weapon. I'm not sure. Uh, obviously, getting it confused with something else. Um, now, where are we going? Ah, yeah, we need to go back to the crane room. I suppose at least if we come into contact with any more hunters, which we actually could do just for shits and giggles we can waste them with a the shotgun but there's just something satisfying you know oh, oh god there's just something satisfying about using the handgun it's just it's silly it's silly oh no whatever shall we do let's repeatedly shoot this hunter in the face until he dies yeah, actually, they take a good few cartridges, don't they? But that's okay. We're going to find, like, loads more cartridges yet, anyway. <clears throat> I have kind of been looking at a guide whilst playing through this. You know, just to make sure I haven't really missed anything, even though <laughs> I wasn't using the guide enough, obviously, because we missed a load of lockpickable things. Um, but yeah, just to make sure that uh, we're, we're kind of making somewhat good progress and one thing that i found quite interesting is it mentions coming here and it says hopefully you've still got some ammo left for your shotgun or something like that and i'm like I, i'm sorry what i haven't even taken the shotgun out yet <laughs> so uh okay Anyway, there is Nosferatu. Who could have done this? Who indeed, Chris? Who indeed? That's actually pro Oh, hello. Alexia. That is how I dispose of insignificant bugs. Said the spider to the fly. How do you wish to die? <laughs> she laughs at her own jokes. I can respect that. Oh dear. Yeah. That's nasty. That's really nasty. Now this thing isn't quite as terrifying as it actually looks. Uh, in fact, it's only marginally, I would say, stronger than your standard, ordinary spider. Yeah, he's going to try and, like, gurge out uh, poison at us, but we're not going to let him. I think eventually his ab abdomen is just going to explode. I don't know how the shotgun works in this, if it's a hit scan or what. Like... Yeah, he's dead already. See? Really isn't up to much. I'm not sure if it's a hit scan weapon or if um, it's like the other weapons. I'm not really sure. Anyway. So I'm not sure if range is a factor with it. I don't think it is in this one. It doesn't appear to be anyway. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Anyway, there's... Uh, Alexander's jewel. So we've got Alfred's, Alexander's, and we need one more. One more. Anyway, uh, we have what we came for. Now all these little spiders will actually jump up and hurt you. I don't think they poison you. Pretty sure they don't, but they are annoying little bastards either way. Yeah, notice the hunters are gone now. Or the hunter drones, I, should, I think they're just called spotters. I might be wrong. But we're not going to worry about those. In fact, I don't think we actually ever have to fight any more, to be honest. I might be wrong. 
but I'm pretty sure that was the last of the hunters. I guess we'll find out as we go. Um, now let's go and get loaded up. Uh, loaded up with what though? That's the question. I think we're just gonna take the Magnum. We get we get ourselves healed up. Did we take? We did take the herbs, didn't we? Uh, uh, yeah, we must have done. That's fine. All right, let's munch those down. So we've got, we've actually got a heal on us anyway. We've got the shotgun. Uh, we'll take the magnum just because. Um, 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 um. Yeah, take the magnum. Uh, I suppose we'll take a knife as well. Yes. Yeah, that'd be fine. That'd be fine. Very soon, we're going to be taken back over as Claire. Um, and it's going to be the last time we play as Claire as well, I think. Uh, like I said, it's been like over a week since I've played this. Um, so whatever like we give to Chris, you know, Claire can't use... We need to be a little bit careful with that. So let's have a little gawp. Let's go save Claire, shall we? Yeah, we've got the knife. There's another... Like, if you get here and realise you need the knife, there is one on the floor somewhere. There is one in this room somewhere anyway, I'm pretty sure. But we don't need the knife. So. Hello, Claire. It's Claire. She's fainted inside the cocoon. I need some kind of tool to open it. Yeah, I wonder what sort of tool you could be thinking about. Maybe the knife? There we go. Welcome back to the land of the living, sis. We have to get out of here. Not yet. We have to find Steve. Who's Steve? He's a boy who escaped from that island with me. But then a monster attacked us and we got separated. So that means Steve is still somewhere in this base? I'm sure of it. Oh, one second, guys. What's wrong? I think... Poison. Just hold on. I'll be right back. Hey guys. Right, and we're back. Sorry about that. Ordered Chinese. Chinese just arrived halfway through doing the video. Not quite sure how the Chinese arrived so quickly. It was only ordered like, <laughs> like two minutes before I actually started recording this. So that's like a world record for delivery. Uh, now, yeah, they usually take... Yeah, about an hour. Uh, yeah, so we've got to go... Oh, shit, I can't even remember what the fuck we were doing. We've got to go save Claire. Yes, yes. Probably would be a solid idea to not let Claire die from poisoning that apparently happened. Ah, that was a clusterfuck. What actually made that worse is they started phoning us halfway through that cutscene, which was... Possibly the worst time they possibly could have phoned us, but hey. And I need to turn my fan off. Oh, also, I got a question: uh, Do I use Audacity? Uh, I don't. I believe that was from Reaver of Your Sandwiches. I do not use Audacity for my audio. Uh, I actually have a noise filter on this microphone. Ooh, hello, zombies! That I spent a good amount of time setting up. But I haven't tested it. Ooh, a triple. Uh, I haven't tested it uh, with a fan. And I'm... <laughs> I don't really want to. So, maybe it handle it well. Maybe it won't. Actually, I guess I'll find out. Uh, when I hear the first few seconds of this part back. Uh, yeah, so, we just like headshot three zombies. And it's... Definitely not as good. 
It doesn't have that satisfying, like, head splodge. Yeah, nice amount of blood flying everywhere, but there's no head exploding action in Code Veronica, unfortunately. And it is a shame, because the way the first three games did the zombie decap was superb. Actually, I'm just going to put the fan on, because it's so fucking hot. And we will see... how that actually sounds. Now, according to my mic meter in OBS, that's not coming through on the mic, which means my noise gate is working perfectly. However, uh, I guess we will find out when I'm editing this back. <sighs> Claire, I'll take care of you now. Such a good brother. Thanks to you. Just like a big brother, huh? You're always looking out for your little sister. Just like a big brother, he is. <laughs> it's Alexia. Alexia? There really is an Alexia? <laughs> it is almost time, you genetically inferior siblings. Oof. <laughs> Her. She might know where Steve is. Let's go. <sighs> Genetically inferior. Ow. I don't think Claire and Redfield are genetically inferior. Somehow. Oof. Just go. I'll be fine. But Chris... You've got to save Steve. Go! Let's do it, Claire. Yeah, I like the way you hear Steve scream at the top of his lungs there, but you can't actually hear anything else. Now, we have been cured of this deadly poison, which is rather fantastic, but we always seem to start here on dead red health. I don't know whether that's just part of the game, but luckily, we can just munch down a herb mixture right there. Uh, we'll grab the bullets, because why not? Uh, I can't actually remember what we had left over as Claire, to be honest. I guess it's the stuff that's in our inventory. Now. Oh, no. Chris has the shotgun. <sighs> Chris has the shotgun. That's kind of annoying. Oh, well. Right, so let's unpick this. And that will give us... I think that's like the last... Uh, set of magnum rounds in the game if I remember correctly uh, right so let's dump that back down here hmm that's really unfortunate actually that Chris has the shotgun because there's two boxes of grenade rounds in this room that we can't actually get you can hang the shotgun there and this poster will retract and there is explosive grenade rounds and incendiary grena uh, grenades, if I remember correctly. So, what should we take as Claire? Let's just take the bow gun. I don't think we're going to really need anything else. I guess, I guess we could take those. Suppose there's no real reason not to. Um, as for health, now with Claire, we are going to come up against a event in a minute, and we are going to want two full heals on us. We probably, if we get lucky, we won't actually need both of these. But if we're unlucky, uh, yeah. It will be bad, so we're going to keep the bow gun. Don't need any more than that. And let's move out of here. 
Now we're gonna encounter a couple of zombies, but nothing too major. Now under here, maybe you can't push it from this way. Yeah, we're gonna get these bloody tentacles that are gonna shoot at us. So you don't actually have to destroy these things, but you know. It's not as if we haven't got the ammo to spare, let's be honest. Now, under each one of these, there is stuff. We've got bowgun arrows, because of course we do. What else will Claire get? Bloody bowgun ammo. This weapon is useless. Really not a fan of this weapon in this game. It's so underwhelming. You know, I know a lot of people don't like the bowgun in Resident Evil 2. But I actually quite liked it, to be honest. It was fun. But the bowgun in this game has just been watered down to the point where it's just useless. Uh, we'll put these grenade rounds back, because Claire ain't going to be using them. So we don't really need the grenade launcher at anything like that. 20. Oh, God. We could have had like 36. And we could have had 18 of those. <sighs> Never mind. Actually, does Chris come into the... I can't remember now. It's been so long since I've played this game. Uh, maybe he does. Um, we'll see. We'll find out, I suppose. Right, let's keep going. Yeah. Um, no, Chris does come back here, doesn't he? Evening. A couple of zombies looking fine. Well, let's drop these guys down with uh, a hearty dosage of bowgun bolts. As you can see, it just takes like such a ridiculous amount of ammo to actually bring these things down. It is utterly silly. <sighs> right. Ooh, looks like we've got a file there. And now in here is more bowgun ammo because gee we were really running out of that there we go now oh actually better make more bowgun rounds now that this is going to be like the only time we can make explosive ammo that's actually the last set of explosive bolts in this game i believe anyway so uh, never mind security file the Ashford family's most important secret is kept at this lab. As a safety precaution, I have installed a self-destruct device in the control room and I have placed the activation code inside the computer. Once inputted, all door locks will be released to provide easy access to escape routes. By using the elevator that directly connects to the hangar, one should be able to escape from the lab easily. Please remember that I have used the name of my beautiful ancestor for the activation code. Glory to the Ashfords. Alexander Ashford. Mm, there is a handle. Let's turn the handle. Now this is a really silly puzzle. For some reason, <laughs> there is a code encased in glass, I guess. Take the crystal. They call it a crystal, but it's basically glass. Not really sure how this has happened, to be honest. Very silly. A well-polished crystal. It contains a card inside. I could obtain the card if I crack it. Yeah. Uh, now, the way to crack it is we have to run like hell. Oh, God. That's no good. We have to run like a mad woman through there. And we almost died, which is a little bit awkward. Drop this. And then back off. And we died. <laughs> we died. <sighs> it puts us back here. Right, once more we're feeling, right? Okay, so polished crystal. Charge! Okay, this thing is freaking horrendous. And I hate this. I really hate this. Fine. Run. Probably gonna die. Maybe. Nope. We're fine. For some reason in the cutscene it's okay. 
Run. Grab. Got. Run. <sighs> Hear that click. That click means that everything's gravy, baby. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Practically shit myself. Hate those things. I hate those things. Oh, also, I use the explosive hammer on him because why not? Right. <sighs> Let's go back. Now, here is where things get a little bit interesting for our pal Steve. Hmm, the door is locked and we're on full health. Good. This room looks ominous. Ah, yes. There we have our friend Steve. Steve? Oh, Claire. This dialogue is awful. She did on her own father. She's completely insane. Uh, 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 what's wrong? Claire, I can't breathe. Claire, help me. Claire. Oh dear. <sighs> and there's a proper creepy face. No, wait. Yeah, he ain't gonna be waiting. He's got a new toy to play with, and he wants to play with it. I uh, might want to start moving, Claire. Yeah, that's why. Right, run! Ow! Now, we can only take one hit. If he hits us again, when we're injured, we're dead. So, Well, he got better looking. Uh, 
Bullet dodged, Claire. That's all I can say. No time for tears, Claire. There's shit to be done. <laughs> At last, I found you, Alexia. Come with me. <laughs> You're responsible for the creation of the T Veronica virus. And now the only existing sample is in your body. I want it. Now! You want it? You are not worthy of its power! Oh dear. Yeah, that cutscene is absolutely freaking awesome. Now, that cutscene where Wesker runs up, or that scene, uh, that that shot where Wesker runs up and runs along the wall and punches Alexia. Apparently, that's not in the original Dreamcast version. Uh, I honestly can't remember because it's been 682,000 years since I played the Dreamcast version. Well, apparently that's one of the new additions. Now, also, if Alexia gets too close to you here, you're fucked. It's a one-hit kill. That's bad. But, as luck would have it, we've got the... Oh, dear. Uh-oh. That's not good. Didn't really want to get singed there. But, yeah, luckily having this Magnum five rounds from that bad boy, and she is out of there. Now there's the knife. Yes, this game gives you a knife to play with, just in case you need one. Uh, right. Let's go pick this bad boy up. And now we have Alexia's jewel as well. I'm going to check that. It appears to be a jewel. Uh, the jewel portion can be removed. Yes, we will take that. Lovely jubbly. So now we have Alexia's jewel. And there she is. Yeah, weren't really up to much, was she? Well, you'd be a little bit wet behind the ears if you thought she was down and out. Anywho, let's go use these. We've been carrying these for quite a while. Might as well use them. Beautiful. A secret door. No way. And we're on like 35 minutes, so oh, we're so close to the end of the game, but we are close to the end of the game. <sighs> Stupidly close to the end of the game, but I'm going to save it, and I'm going to have to go to work, and I will finish this tomorrow. Bio, yes, right, we need the biohazard key, don't we? What a penis to have to run out of time there. Also, this video needs some edits, which I'm going to have to make notes of. Alright. 
strange to be finally almost finished with this game. What's weird, the way I'm recording videos at the moment, like, you know, even this game, which is actually a pretty bloody short game, you know, it's, it's pretty reasonable that you can do this game easily in like five hours. Obviously, you can do it significantly quicker than that, but... You know, I reckon I could do this within six to five hours without too much effort. But because I only have one day really, or maybe two if I'm lucky, days to record a week, it feels like we just play games, like the same games for months and months and months. So when it comes up to completing a game, it kind of feels like a special occasion, you know? Uh, Alright, let's grab those cartridges. Oh god, we've got so many weapons, like, I mean, we haven't even used the submachine guns. Or the grenade launcher. Well, I think, no, we did use a little bit of the grenade launcher. Um, let's put the magnum rounds back. Did Claire put those magnum rounds back for us? Yeah, she might not have done. Have we missed some Magnum rounds? Did I keep them on Claire without actually dropping them back? Because we opened the dual aluminum case. Now I think there's I think there's still some more that we get to pick up in a minute. I think. It doesn't, it doesn't matter anyway because we've got so many. Like, we have... Where's the ink ribbons? We have so many. Oh, no, there they are. I'm stupid. And there's our ink ribbons. Which is rather wonderful. We need those. Right, anyway, guys. I am going to end this one here. When we come back, we're going to complete the game. So, thank you very much for watching. And as always... Till next time.